Hey Virgo, welcome back to the channel. This is Kelly from House of Virgo. Hope you all had a wonderful weekend. All right, Virgo, we're going to get into your reading here for the month of June. This is a reading for Virgo Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Some of the messages may or may not resonate. Take with its leave the rest. This will be a love reading. Um, if you're new, please do hit like, share, and subscribe. I would greatly appreciate that. And hello, everyone. Welcome back. Hi, everybody in the chat. All right. Hello to the mods. What my band-aid's coming off. Yikes. All right. Let's get into this. What is up, Virgo? What is going on for Virgo? Virgo's love life. Virgo's sun, moon, rising, or Venus. Okay. So you're starting off with mirror, mirroring each other, self-image, relationships reflect our wounds, and introspection. Okay. Another car. Not today, Satan. Not today. Not dealing with that. Hurt, avoiding a conversation, call, person, boundaries, and somebody is still angry. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> All right, let me see. And the Phoenix. New phase, rekindle, renew, transformation, growth, and changed mind. All right, Virgo. So, hmm, a lot of introspection going on for some of you here in the month of, did I say May? I, I didn't mean May. If I did say that, I can't remember. For the month of June, okay? Looking in the mirror or reflecting back or mirroring somebody's energy, okay? Um, somebody's doing that to you or you do, you're doing that with someone else. Or you're just looking at yourself in the mirror and, and practicing your lines. Taking a look at yourself. Not today. Somebody's calling you and I see you are not picking up the phone or you're avoiding talking to somebody. Okay, maybe you're still angry or there's some boundaries that have been crossed. Um, you're not dealing with any hurt. You, you're just, there's avoidance here of some kind of conversation. Okay. Um, and then the Phoenix, new phase. Uh, somebody definitely wants to rekindle something here with you. Somebody's having growth or changed mind, but I kind of feel like you're in self-reflective mode at this time and you, you're, you just maybe you feel hurt you just don't want to deal with a conversation or a particular person something's going on with you in june that you are you know maybe licking your wounds or you're taking a look at yourself you're going through a healing energy maybe you're just looking at your self-image and thinking of ways like just it feels like a very focused energy on yourself and some of you are just kind of like in hiding or you're going through this transformation um you're in some kind of transition and I feel like you're just not wanting to deal with anybody. Now this could be your energy right now. Um, it could also be something coming up for you, but your energy right now, um, I don't know exactly who's calling you. We'll get into the reading, but it seems to me somebody might be trying to rekindle something and, um, you're just leaving the phone off the hook. <laughs> that's actually now uh, a euphemism back in the day we used to actually leave the phone off the hook but now it's become a euphemism because we don't have hooks on phones anymore so now you're just kind of like blocking you maybe you've blocked calls or you, you know whatever's going on okay you're just you're not dealing with any shade you've got the moon here somebody's somebody's here <laughs> so the moon is Piscean energy okay so whoever this person is um, you know, somebody's, somebody here is kind of like in hiding a little bit, you know. Um, somebody's definitely in, they're seeking some kind of clarity about something. Let me get a little more energy and see what's going on here. Okay. Ten of Wands. Wow. Okay. Um, I just heard, am I a burden to you? Somebody feels like a burden. I, I feel like somebody's going to get the message if they're trying to call you or connect with you and you're not answering or you're not giving any uh, signs that you want to talk to somebody, um, the, the, the question they're having, this person is having within themselves, are they feel like they're bothering you. Yeah, honestly, somebody is definitely trying to rekindle something here with you. Okay. Let me see. I mean, they're going to exhaust all their resources to try to get a hold of you or talk to you for some reason or like, well, not for some reason to rekindle or have a new phase here with you. But um, you might just be in this place here where I feel like you're, you know, you got your growth mindset, changing your mind about stuff. You're not having it. Okay. Oh, gosh. The high priest. 
our fun. Um, hmm. A battle ensues with the five of wands. Um, a real struggle is happening here. Okay. Um, there's a need to conform. And I feel like this person um, is having like an internal battle <laughs> about having to conform to something. So I feel like Virgo, you're kind of in this position. Like I'm not talking to anybody that is not going to try to meet me halfway with things, you know, um, and this person, you know, I do feel like they're, they're definitely trying to get into your good graces here in June. Um, but the real struggle that they have, like, I feel like somebody just wants to be attached. Okay. Um, they, it's like somebody doesn't want to lose the connection, but they know that in order to keep it, they're going to have to like give up a couple of things here. They're going to have to make some sacrifices to connect, to keep this connection. Otherwise Virgo's like, nope you're not having it you don't want any part of it you know and it, it, so are you coming in with some rules and regs yeah probably a little bit maybe for someone specific or maybe for a lot of you you are, are just putting your boundaries up healthy boundaries okay and i feel like uh this person you know they do feel like maybe they're burdening you at the same time but they're curious um because you're giving them you're giving a little shade here right um and i feel like this person sees <laughs> that you're you're putting down the rules and regs um but they're exhausted and they're kind of retreating a little bit you know after trying to reach you and not being able to get a hold of you and i feel like they're trying to figure out what's going on uh, which i don't understand it's almost like they're not looking at the fact that they need to not be crossing boundaries, but they're, they're not believing that that's really what it is. Okay, what is this person thinking as far as, <laughs> you know, I, I feel like you're being pretty clear. Um, I feel like it's like any other person would, maybe you're not saying anything, maybe you're just showing that you're not conforming to something with another person because it's completely exhausted and draining or ha or will be draining you emotionally but at the same time this person is being drained emotionally because they're coming in here trying to rekindle but they're fighting back on your boundaries they might even be crossing your boundaries by blowing up your phone okay and you just keep i feel like you're holding strong to not letting anybody cross over who's not invited to cross over with some bullshit you know you're not letting that used car salesman or that used vacuum salesman in the house to sit and try and strike a deal with you when you that you're not interested in used vacuums <laughs> Virgo's like no no give me the hoover deluxe <laughs> oh they just told me okay you could be dealing with someone who's a little bit spiritually disordered and is hoovering you Okay, you're getting the Hoover for some of you. That's what I feel like is going on here. And you have got some walls up. <laughs> you know what I mean? You've got some walls up. So, yeah, you're definitely going to be getting some phone calls. Um, and you might even get a phone call where someone's angry. This is the anger Hoover where they're, they're going to, you know, go into your voicemail. You're going to find a voicemail with someone saying, this is bullshit. I can't believe you're not talking to me. You're not even giving me a chance. You know, they're getting real um, nasty on the phone, you know, um, and they're, they're angry they're, because you're not giving in. You're putting up boundaries now. Okay, and you know, they're, they're definitely like, it's exhausting at the same time, but at the same, also on the flip side of the coin, um, you know, they're fighting back a little bit here. They're t somebody's testing you. And that's what I really feel like you need to know. Um, so somebody's trying to hoover, trying to come in and love bomb and give you all that nice sweetness. Okay, that's fine. But if you just hold your ground, then they start getting angry and leaving you angry messages or nasty messages or saying things that aren't nice. Or you could just pick up the inflection in their voice that they're teed off about you not giving in. Then that's how you're going to know that this person is trying to control the narrative here. And they're getting mad now because you're not giving in. And they might even be playing on your guilt a little bit. Okay. All right, Taurus energy there. Let's see what else is going on. This is a beautiful, lovely reading. <laughs> uh, 
Oh my goodness. Okay. Knight of Wands and the Ace of Wands. Oh yeah. So this is a rushing in energy here with the Ace of Wands, the Knight of Wands and the Ace of Wands. They're coming in with this Ace of Wands, you know, with this thing like, you know, I got something I got to say to you and I want to say they're coming in fast and I want us to have growth. You know, I don't know, something's going on here with you, Virgo, where there's a lot of mirroring going on here. I feel like, Virgo, you're holding the mirror up to somebody else. Yeah, you're, you, oh, that's what they just said. Um, I, okay, so I'm just hearing somebody say, okay, you're gonna ignore me for weeks at a time. I'm gonna return the favor. So you're mirroring back somebody else's, their, you're mirroring somebody's reflection back to them. The way somebody was treating you, you're now giving that back. Okay, so rather than just be on the receiving end of everything, now you're holding up the mirror and say, this is the way you're getting upset. Oh, now you're getting upset about the way I'm treating this, is what you, you've been doing to me the whole time, and you're just not having it now. That, that's what I really feel like. And somebody's coming in. I keep seeing the King of Cups, so I don't know if that's going to resonate for anybody here. It keeps popping up there. That's three times I keep shuffling and keep showing up. So maybe you're dealing with a water sign. Regardless of the situation, um, this somebody's coming in with a whole... And it just flipped out again. You saw that. You can't make that up. Now, here comes the love. King of Cups with the Knight of Cups, okay? I'm going to try and romance you. Look, I'm not telling you whether this person's coming in with truth or not. I mean, if the, card, the truth cards show up, the truth cards show up. But I just feel like your energy at the top here is... Nope, I'm growing, I'm changing, and I'm rising above all this. So you're definitely going to get a little bit of frustration from somebody here. Um, somebody maybe who's angry or hurt. It's going to definitely surprise you with some of this love energy that's coming in from this person. You know, um, because why? Four of Cups. Because you're seeming indifferent. Okay. But be careful because if you give in to this energy, this person comes in with that sweetness here with the Knight of Cups. That lovey-dovey energy, that taking action, giving gifts, love bombing, making offers, you know, sweet offers. They might turn around and then, you know, become indifferent after they get what they want. You got to gauge this. You got to gauge this. If you know who I'm talking about, then you know who I'm talking about. But some of you, I feel like, oh, here, you know what? Here they come with them phone calls again. Here they come with them text messages. Here they come with those uh, voicemails, oh, they're using a burner phone now, they're calling me from a different number, you know, or they're making sneak phone calls or something, you know, or they're reaching out to me, or they're making fake accounts, or whatever, somebody's trying to get in, you're the one that got away, you're, that's what I feel like is going on here, you know, you see, it seems, and, and I don't know that you're trying to really do the, I don't know that it's intentional, like you're trying to hurt somebody in return, I just feel like, you know, when you're, when you're putting up boundaries for yourself to protect yourself it can look like you're um trying to it can look to another person like you're intentionally trying to hurt but that's not the case how people perceive you is none of your business that's their problem you have to do what you have to do for yourself hold on i'm just trying to write on here because you know what happens you guys i go through these readings and i do them for so long and then I have to go back and listen to the reading because uh, I always say the title in the reading and then I forget after we get to the end of the reading. So I had to write it down there so I knew. All right, let me see what's going on here. What else? Somebody definitely feels like you're indifferent to them or that you're un uninterested. Um, Four of Cups energy, that you're unfulfilled with the relationship. Now you're apathetic towards them. They don't like it. Okay, Knight of Cups, Knight of Wands, Passion, coming in with that sexual lusty energy, coming in with, you know, if, if you're dealing with a male, coming in with that boner energy, whatever it is, okay? Oh, the Phoenix sure is rising here with that person. All right, here's the Emperor. Remember the Emperor used to show up? Okay, ooh, and the Nine of Pentacles. Hmm, oh, this feels like this person, I command you to be with me. So you know what's going on here? 
I, this is the message that they're telling me here with the Emperor and the Nine of Pentacles. This person thinks that they are, um, they might just only be a king, but they think of themselves as an emperor, or, you know, empress, which is like the top of the line. Um, but they're looking at you, um, that you got some serious value right now. Okay, you're showing some heavy value. And um, you're fine, single and independent, living your own life, making your money looking good you know whatever the aesthetics are your solo pleasures whatever you're doing it's almost like you i, I feel your energy is like you know I, could, I just can't be bothered with with any kind of games i can't be bothered and i don't know who this is for somebody this could be a love like a love thing a partner um you can meet somebody coming up in the month of june that is just acting a fool and you already got your boundaries in place and you're just giving off these not interested vibes and that's kind of a challenge I'm picking up a challenge energy here because the five of wands is there okay so actually when you're not a doormat doormat doormats hold no value other than to just lay there and be stepped on okay and people generally throw their doormats out after a while and go and get a nice new one and then they forget all about all forget all about them so you're 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 not holding on your doormat value is out the door here okay you're standing your ground uh, but you're doing it for you. You're not doing it for anybody else. Okay? You're doing it for you. And I love that. That's where you should be. Okay. So, oh yeah. The hangman, they're seeing things quite differently here. Okay? Seeing you sitting in that valuable position. So we have the emperors. We got Aries energy. Um, and I did say Pisces. And then the death card. Well, the hangman, Pisces. And the moon twice is Pisces so we have the death card and that scorpionic energy so this person's like oh shit they're actually taking a look like you're done they're not seeing this is a side of you this person has not seen before nope they have not seen this side of you before this is the side that says oh damn no matter what I do no matter what I whatever tricks I have up my sleeve like um you know tricks the rabbit <laughs> They just, I just saw that. You remember the tricks the rabbit? And that was that a serial tricks? Um, no matter what they're pulling out of their hat, nothing's working here. I feel like, you, and I don't know if you're done with something with this person. I just feel like, I, I feel like you're not even really focused on being done or not done with anybody. I feel like you just redirected your energy back to yourself here. You know what? If the result is that I'm done with everybody else. That's only because I'm not done with me. Do you understand? So when you're focused on yourself and you're doing you, every everything and everybody else goes on the back burner by default. You don't have to put people on the back burner. You don't have to put people in their place. It just automatically happens when you're focused on yourself, right? And, and that's just the only person you can control is you. You can't control other people. Right? So you don't have to, oh, I'm going to put you in your place. You don't have to do any of that. That people put themselves in their own place. But you just focus on yourself. If someone gets put on the back burner, that's because they allowed themselves to. Right? Because you're doing you. So is there somebody coming in here trying to control you? Well, that emperor energy can be very authoritative. Not necessarily a bad energy, but that the emperor, the emperor gets and has what he wants. He or she. Okay? The emperor is like the boss, the king. The, uh, the king of kings and nobody's above the emperor except for god but the emperor is basically like no it's my way or the highway okay and virgo's like well you can go have your highway all by yourself go drive that car up and down the highway as much as you like i will not be in the passenger seat okay <laughs> yep so this person's kind of like actually that's your energy they just said the nine of wands and the five of pentacles look at you you got your boundaries out you're like you know what? I'm putting the cat out. And if it's cold out, the cat's got to stay out in the cold. You know, you're not letting anybody in your house right now. Not answering that call, deleting that mail or the email or the text. You're not responding. You're not dealing. You're not dealing with it. Okay. Maybe you're still angry. Maybe that's what's going on. And you just don't want to talk to somebody. Maybe somebody, let's see, why? Why, Virgo? What happened here? Why is Virgo not talking to somebody or just not dealing with fools 
Why is Virgo not dealing with fools or a fool? Like I said, it doesn't have to be a lover. This could be a family member. This could be a friend. This could be a work colleague. It could be a boss, you know? All right, let's see. Why is Virgo not? Oh, Virgo's got another opportunity. Ooh, Virgo's, Virgo's calling in other opportunities in their life. Good opportunities. Blessings. That Ace of Pentacles, for sure. Some of you are just focusing on your work. You're focusing on promotion, promotion, pro, uh, promoting yourselves. In a lot of ways, you're focused on your investments and you're focusing on new incomes, whether that's financial or just other people or and other people, places and things coming into your life. OK, some of you are getting um, either currently or you will be getting some type of communication about there's like new beginnings happening here, potential new starts that are like golden opportunities and you're focusing on your blessings. That's what I feel like whenever we have an ace to me, you've got two aces here. Whenever we have an ace, that's always uh, potential new blessings coming in for you. So you're in a good place, but I want to know, well, yeah, look at you. King of Pentacles, just focusing on your abundance. So I don't know that you're, um, I don't know what happened in the past, but I know either what's happening now or what will be happening now is better than and it trumps anything that was going on in the past and that's like a moth to a flame that's what you're focusing on in your life at this time so you know whatever the situation was that brought about this energy all i know is you know an apple is a great tasting uh, piece of fruit to eat but when it sits next to a piece of chocolate cake what are you going to go for right somebody gives you an apple that's nice and sweet and good but then and it's just an analogy. I know not all of you like uh, chocolate cake or apples, but and then someone serves you a piece of cake right after they give you the apple and you're like, oh, wait, let me rethink this. Now, I really do like me some chocolate cake. Hmm. <laughs> so you're you're choosing differently. You're choosing differently. That's what I feel like is going on here. OK, look at that. There you go. You got the star healing and renewal of self right making yourself um maybe some of you are putting yourself out there in the public eye it's aquarius energy here or you're just like in healing energy you know you're like i'm worth it i'm valuable i'm amazing i'm a i'm wonderful you know you're telling yourself oh, you know i'm fearless i can do these things i can have these things i want these things in my life and and that's what's going on here for you and so, like I said, you're definitely maybe, well, for some of you, the one that got away and, and somebody's trying to get you back into their periphery, whoever it is. And um, <clears throat> an overall message here is like, why? Why? Why why eat the apple when I got chocolate cake? You know, if somebody's not coming in here and offering something better for you, you know, better in, better in the sense where um, they're just not... It, when I say better, I just mean normal, right? Because you might have been connecting with someone that was just not treating you well. That's all. I mean, a lot of you are just, you know what? I just want, uh, I just want to cultivate and create a normal, happy, uh, as happy as can be, joyous, safe relationship in my life with people, places, and things, you know? Um, because anything less than that is basically like not up to par. So wanting better is basically just wanting the, what's the neutrality of a relationship. Everything else was like, just feels like worse, right? So nobody said that you're out here looking to be, you know, um, at the top of the pile here, you know, um, I think a lot of you are just like exhausted and you're like, you know, I, maybe you just keep meeting people and, and I don't know that you're judging, but you might just be like, yeah, yeah, that's not going to meet my needs. And, you know, that's just not what I want. It's like when you're trying to sell your house, you get all kinds of buyers coming in and some are like low balling offers and some are just like, you're just not either you're not getting people who are coming in and meeting your needs and you're and you're just like well that's just not gonna fly you know and i'm not gonna lower my standards or lower my asking price just so that i can have something or someone right so you're in a you're like you're understanding how it works you're understanding your value you're understanding that your your, your scarcity scarcity that you are um you don't have to be something to everybody. You just want to be something to someone, right? That's it. And and you're only you just take you only want the best of the best, right? And and that, and that just means the best for you, the best of the best for you, 
okay so i like your energy i like where you're going and i like what's good you know um because if you pick up that phone from somebody um that has been treating you bad then you're basically just giving them permission to keep treating you bad so you gotta draw a line and sand somewhere virgo you just have to do that in your life in all areas of your life like you just you know if you've been direct and somebody's got not getting the message then you know like you got to keep it moving okay um if you've been indirect um you can't really blame other people if you haven't just been straightforward you can't you know virgo if you've been in this position of doormat people pleasing you know um yeah you appease people for a little while but then eventually it's going to come back to you and burn you right so it's always best to be direct in all your dealings as much as possible and that doesn't mean being mean it just means being you know what this doesn't work for me at this time what if you can bring something else to the table that's gonna you know meet my needs or sweeten the deal in some way where i feel like this could actually work i'm not gonna sit down at the table and negotiate anything with you if you get angry and pissed off and you go stomp off like a child that's on you nobody's listening to that <laughs> Virgo, what's up with you? All right, let's get some romance angels. Okay, attraction. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. So I see you being present in your life, taking time to smell the flowers, enjoying all the simple things in life, being present and mindful and awake in your life at this time, which is great, okay? Appreciating everything you have and not bitching about anything you don't have. So you're in a good place here. All right, this could be the one. You've already met the romantic partner you seek. Okay, so like I said, for some of you, this person is your person. But you know what, you guys? Let me tell you something. Even in the healthiest relationships, you still have to have boundaries. Just because you're in a relationship with someone doesn't mean now you gotta be a jellyfish. You know, you still have to have your convictions. You still have to put your foot down and say, no, this doesn't work for me. This person here, whoever they are, a romantic partner, a friend or whatever, sometimes you, you don't have to leave a relationship. Sometimes you just have to stand your ground and not be, you could still have relationships with people and still have your boundaries. You know what I mean? I mean, uh, unless, and I, this caveat, and I say this all the time, unless there's somebody who's physically or verbally abusive or emotionally abusive, you can still stand your ground. But if it's taking a toll on you, then you just got to get out of that. Because that right there, you know, I, I know people who have gone through some um, very serious illness. And for a time period, they turned into monsters. Did, did their partner leave them? They were like, no all right, this person's really sick. I'm gonna have to call in some troops and get some help with this, but um, I do love them and they love me, but they're going through something. So I understand they're going through this thing and, and you know, we made a promise to each other and I'm, I'm gonna be there. Um, when, Cause I know there's light at the end of the tunnel, but if that's not the case and this person, their baseline is that they're just an asshole, then you gotta go, okay? You gotta go. If somebody's baseline is that they're just a jerk to, not just to you but to everybody what are you hanging around for right but for others i don't know if that's the case for others this is your person and this is you know the this whether it's your twin flame or whether you're going through some kind of karmic cycle whatever it is you still have to you still have to rise like the phoenix you still have to hold steady and be true to yourself you know being in a relationship does not mean we're enmeshed it just means we're 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 interdependent. That's all it means. They have the stuff they like to do. You have the stuff that you like to do. You get your needs met in other ways as well as meet, meeting each other's needs and coming together, you know, as a soul partner. Okay. So it, it being, in, you know, being in this relationship does not mean that you sell your soul to this person and they attach puppet strings on to you and you allow them to do whatever they want. That's not how it works. That's unhealthy and that's toxic. I feel like I keep getting messages to let you know. Spirit's letting you know. All right, let me see what else. Yep, there you go. Codependency. I have not held a single card up. Codependency, there you go. So there's codependency here. Addictions are affecting romantic life. So some of you might be dealing with someone or there might be someone in your life who's got an addiction and you're fighting that. 
you're not fighting the person you're fighting the addiction because the addiction has got a hold of them so you're at a third party fair with somebody's addiction for some of you and some of you are like I'm some of you are just walking away or you just temporarily separated or will be because you're not you can't Virgo you cannot fight somebody's addiction the addiction has a stronghold and until that person is able to surrender to it whatever it is addiction doesn't have to be drugs and alcohol it could be addiction to porn it could be addiction to like serial dating or cheating it could be an addiction to approval it could be an addiction to gaming it could be anything wherever there's an interference in the relationship that's got a hold on somebody you either got to find a way to cope with it or you got to just leave so the decision's always yours but there's definitely codependency because when you're in a relationship with someone who's addicted to something you're co-addicted as well and it's taken it's and it's it's like a virus when someone's addiction is running uh, wild in them and you're attached to them in some way it attaches itself onto you and now you're becoming that way okay so that doesn't make your person bad but it does does mean that they've either something has happened that's gotten their claws on them and is just they need some kind of vaccine or something to help them with this because you can't fight it and i feel like for a lot of you this is what's going on you're trying to protect yourselves okay from whatever you know you're not rejecting you're protecting you're not rejecting somebody you're protecting self and that's totally okay and you're allowed to do that all right let me see what the um love messages are here what's the love messages here for virgo okay put away the computer working less will help strengthen your relationship so all right virgo you know you could be dealing with someone that has like some kind of computer addiction or something they just can't get offline they just can't that's a real thing I don't even know if that's actually in if that's a psychological disorder now it might be or if it's in the DSM I don't know for sure but that's actually a real thing people have become absolutely addicted and controlled by their computers or social media or they're always on their phone or you know a lot of people are seeking them likes you know on a social level you know the relationships I don't know how many times you hear relationships tend to the the computer and the social media and all that or work or something like that on the computer can if, if no if we're not nourishing the relationship there's got to be balance okay now this could be you as well right so some of you might be deciding you know I need to get I need to take some time away I need to disconnect and get out in nature and go out and enjoy or this is the other person this is you know what's going on um, the relationship has grown has, has become extremely weak because there's too much computer maybe you're with someone that, that all you maybe you're not in a real relationship some of you have that um, some of you are in the matrix or the metaverse with someone where you are like your relation your whole relationship is based around FaceTime and you haven't even met or you're you're stuck on some kind of computer relationship or something you're like two bots have fallen in love I don't know what's going on but let me tell you something that's bullshit that's a bullshit thing okay because you have to be in each other's presence you got to be able to smell somebody you got to be able to see their body language you got to see their behaviors you got to see their inflection you got to hear their voice you got to see what they're doing outside of the in in the real world in the everyday you know how they are with other people um just a little bit of computer time with someone i mean you all do what you want but it is not a real relationship i mean you hear about like people in the metaverse and you know avatars are raving avatars and then they're calling the avatar police you know I mean like what the hell's going on <laughs> what the hell's going on in this world <laughs> I wish I could take back my words okay somebody's showing some feelings here somebody I wish I could take back my words I don't know what's going on there but somebody's got some feels there's some some emotions showing up here oh my god got addiction addiction is affecting this relationship point blank period I don't think we need to go any any deeper uh, that's what that's a message I don't know what the dick the addiction is leave a comment below or say something in the chat um, who's got what addiction or what type of addiction um, or habit if you want to call it a habit that they can't seem to break whatever it is let me know okay because there is something going on here that I'm just 
you're 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 stuck in something and you're like no more of this i'm not staying trapped in this no more i'm not enabling this anymore you know and and you know what let me tell you what happens most often when someone's had you under their thumb um when you were in a position if you ever were not calling anybody out but if you're when you're in a position where you're enabling someone because they're manipulating in order to be able to keep feeding their addiction or to pull the wool over people's eyes the minute you step back and you put your foot down and you say i'm not enabling this anymore watch the demons get mad and angry okay they don't like that people don't like it when they can't control you anymore and you need to test to see the minute you step back and you pull back and you show that you you cut those puppet strings watch the anger come out okay people who are controlling who feel like they can't keep controlling another person um, even if they're doing it in a way where they're people pleasing and they're serving and they're being nice all the time to try to get what they want people can do it with rage and anger to try to suppress and control or they could do it with kindness right it's called killing killing with kindness it, it can come in all kinds of forms but the underlying thing there is control and no matter how someone approaches the minute you step back and say no I'm taking my power back and I'm not going to let anybody coerce or convince or manipulate or cajole me in any way um, you watch and see what happens some of you all need to put somebody to the test to see if that's really what's going on and I do feel like some of you are going to be getting some messages or some calls where somebody's like oh my gosh this my Virgo has completely stood up and walked turned their back on me and walked away and I can't get anything from them anymore and they were a damn good supply and now I'm raging and I'm angry and I am not happy you know you have to be able to hear it see it in order to know otherwise you just shut the door and walk away and just say i'm done with this reading click off the video <laughs> you know it's just humans are so complex aren't we okay take time to breathe out all right some of you are in the month of june just pulling back your energy and exhaling all that negative bull that you've been dealing with okay you're just like i just see someone on a beach they get, a, they get away from all this, or they're near the water, or they're somewhere, you know, out in nature, which I feel like a lot of you need to get into that space, maybe a spa, whatever, maybe you're at the gym, whatever, and you're just taking that little me time, and you're just <sighs> exhaling all the negativity, like, oh, I can breathe, I can just relax now, Ex exhalation, that's like relaxing, okay? So some of you really need to get in that place. A new start is coming. Yeah. Okay. And I feel like if you take that little time out for yourself, Virgo, and just let it all go, then things will start shifting. Things will start changing. Does that mean this person's going to change? I don't know. I don't know. But I know that you're going to see some, you're going to see some faces or you're going to hear some things that you might be a little bit surprised about some, the way somebody's you'd be surprised at the way people act once you walk away you know um either like the they're starting to hit them in the face like oh my god i have no control anymore or, oh my god i just lost the best thing people will man they'll go to great lengths to try especially controlling people will go to great lengths to try to get someone back in their in their periphery hold your vision virgo hold your vision don't let go or don't don't give in okay don't give in I just want to go to a couple extra cards here. Let me see what else you got. What else you got, Barracks? All my um, purple lights are like, I'm going to get some more batteries. They're like fading out. Fading out is the word. Virgo's fading out right now. Virgo's just like, uh-uh. What's this? Okay, the griffin. Honor and good luck. Beautiful. Beautiful. We got some dragon energy going on here honor and good luck and the winds of change your surroundings will undergo transition okay 
Okay, and the raven, darkness looms on the horizon. Yeah, there's definitely a change happening here, but the darkness that's looming on the horizon, you're gonna see, you're gonna see the face. You know how they, people would, um, if there's like a fire, there's smoke or something, and they capture pictures where they see like a demon in the smoke, you're gonna see a demon in the smoke. You're gonna see something that you never saw before because you're, this is, you're doing the real chess move here, Virgo. You're doing something you've never done before. And, um, <laughs> You're going to see all those, those little uh, trolls coming out of the woodwork, or the, the little trolls that are um, <laughs> trying to hold on. You're going to see some flying monkeys reaching out to you. Oh, you're going to see a lot of activity, a lot of hellfire and activity coming out of somebody, all that toxic stuff that they've been hiding and burying and trying to pretend there's something that they're not. Who is this? This reading. Uh, you know what, though? Don't be scared. If you're scared, it's not a horror story. It's just, you You know what? Sometimes you got to go through this. You know what I mean? Sometimes you got to go through this. Okay, we got Ear of the Monkey. That's weird. Didn't I just say? Flying monkeys? <laughs> there you go. <laughs> so, obviously, maybe your person's a monkey or your Ear of the Monkey, whichever. But um, that's definitely confirmation. You're, you're going to be hearing from people that are either directly or indirectly connected to your person. If you're not answering that phone, you're not connecting. If you're gone off the radar, if you're in silent mode, if you're, you're I don't feel like you're purposely giving the silent treatment, you're just giving yourself a break. Um, and, and, you know, you're definitely gonna be getting something here in June. You might already be having it happen to you. Okay, somebody might be the year of the rabbit. We have the year of the snake, the year of the pig, the year of the rooster and the okay we have rabbit twice okay in the year of the ox all right all right let's get a couple of numbers so you can get some signs and some dates here yeah i gotta find a um there's so many i hope you're all doing well don't forget to hit that like button and the uh, subscribe. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so. It just takes one click. It's free. I don't require anything of you. All right. So you do have a heart here. Okay. All right. Signs. We got double Aries. We have Cancer. We have Pisces. Okay. Um, okay. Somebody's born in 72. We got the numbers 210. Um, we got the number 53. We also have 52. Um, okay, the number is 214. Okay, uh, September 5th and the 8th. And I'm picking up the number 33. So these could be ages. However the number uh, resonates for you. All right, so we have Capricorn. We have Cancer again. We've got a Scorpio. Uh, and we have cancer twice. Okay. Now, if I don't call your person sign, you know who this is. Don't worry. Doesn't mean that it's not your reading. Okay. So we have August 12th. Um, they're giving me the number 144. Um, we have September 10th and 11th. Okay. Um, somebody's born in 82. Okay. And we have the month of November. Let's see. All right, and there's 11 again. We have Aquarius, we have double Taurus again. We have double Aquarius, double Taurus. Okay, so we've got September 6th. We also have the year 1967. Um, okay, we have August, is it? No, it's September 22nd, August 25th. Um, somebody's 41. Um, 2021 very significant year for somebody here okay and somebody is 60 okay let's get some charms here you got a heart here silver heart um heart is obviously represents love um i'm hearing it's time for you to kill someone with kindness virgo <laughs> okay hold on let me get a couple charms and then i'm gonna wrap up your reading all right so Wow, we've got a dinosaur, okay, and we have a planet, 
Okay, and we have a snowflake. All right. What am I getting from this dinosaur here? Oh, or they just gave me a cheeseburger. Okay, that makes no sense whatsoever. Maybe you're eating a cheeseburger or thinking about a cheeseburger. You just had one. Um, I don't know where that's coming from. Um, they just said cheeseburger. Okay, so maybe some of you might have like some kind of a pet uh, reptile of some sort or somebody does. Okay, um, there could be like a also some kind of like Uh, oh, somebody's doing a paleo, pa paleo, pa paleo, am I saying that right? Diet of some sort? Okay. And also, um, or there's a documentary. Somebody's watching like one of those dinosaur archaeological digs or some kind of documentary of some sort. Now the, the shamrock, the shamrock, no, sorry, the four leaf clover is here. It's not a shamrock. Okay. So lucky, lucky. You're lucky at this time. Didn't we have that? Honor and good luck. Yeah. So you, you got like, I feel like this, what they're trying to say here is like luck is on your side. I feel like whatever's going on. I look at those four petals on the four leaf clovers, the four elements, right? You're, you're in all the four elements. You know, you're balanced. You're creative. You're attached. You're like connected to your physical self, your emotional self, your mental self. Um, your senses are intact. They just said to say whatever you're sensing is right, is correct. Trust yourself about this or about some things that you, that have been coming to you. Um, maybe you're from Ireland or you got some Irish in you somewhere. Or maybe your person that could be connected as well. Okay, we also have Saturn. And I believe Saturn would be, is it Sagittarius energy or Capricorn? Okay. Um, Okay, they're just showing me, I don't know what those things are called, I can't remember, but you know, like when kids are in school and they make like the solar system, like as a project or something, I'm seeing that. Okay, I don't know what that relates to, what's going on. Some of you are in an area where it's snowing, okay, or you're, you're going to be seeing some big ass snowflakes of some sort. Um, I'm also picking up um, the snowy winter season for the northern hemisphere is going to be significant. Okay, um, I just wanted to ask, when is this? When is Virgo going to be getting these these phone calls or oh, nasty email messages? When is Virgo going to be getting these phone calls or these nasty email messages? when to expect this okay sometime between June 10th and 11th okay so that's next weekend <laughs> I don't know maybe you're maybe you have plans for next weekend June 10th 11th and you just you block and you're not going or you're not gonna do something I, I just feel like something's going on with you Virgo whoever's reaching out to you or calling you or doing whatever and you're like nope look it just want to show you you're, you're declining, some of you are declining some kind of offer for, from somebody, or you're declining picking up the phone or talking to somebody. This is basically you. Look, I don't want to hear it. You're, you're like, talk to the hand, talk to the phone. Holding the phone away from you, and you're holding it out against the wall, or you're letting other people hear the message, or, there's, you know, or the voicemail, um, somebody who's angry and is kind of coming after you in some way, whatever it is, you know, you're just like, I don't want to hear this. <laughs> I don't want to hear it. All right, Virgo. So I'm going to leave your reading there. I hope you enjoyed that. Um, I will see you all back here tomorrow for your next reading. Um, just remember a little thing I want to tell you guys that, you know, every day I do a reading and every day is going to be different. Some days the readings aren't going to just be progressive from the previous reading to the next. Um, so take it in stride. Understand that there's a lot of people listening. Something might resonate for somebody else and not for you. It doesn't mean your story's changed if things are going well. Okay. It, these are just messages 
wait for the day to play out, see how things go, look back, and then say, yeah, there was a particular area in my life that that may have happened, but or for some of you, none of this is going on, okay? So just remember, it's general, so I'm reaching out to a lot of people, okay? But enjoy the camaraderie, talk with each other, you know, share your thoughts and share your comments and things like that below, and um, yeah, I'll be back here tomorrow with the following reading, okay? So I'll see you guys later. Love you. Bye.